actually right now too. We now have a hurricane. Uh, just coming in. Sally is now a hurricane and the center can jump like that. Uh, and then when it does that, it's trying to intensify and it has. You can see here it has become a hurricane. This just now coming in 11 o'clock update 85 mile per hour hurricane uh, winds are or it's moving west northwest at six. And so it does look like it's doing this little weird thing here. That's because the center jumped as Jade was just asking about here. And what happened is the bigger thunderstorms were here and the center originally was there and it decided nope, I'm going to go where the big thunderstorms are. So we now have Hurricane Sally here. As of 11 o'clock this morning here uh, again, winds are up to 85 miles per hour, so it is quickly intensified 20 mile per hour jump in wind speed just in the last hour. Uh, so that's pretty intense out there and the pressure is down to 985 millibars. So this storm is on its way to becoming a uh, fairly strong hurricane as we'll get into category one hurricane, I should say, and continuing to become again, maybe stronger than that. It was I mentioned earlier category two is not out of the uh, is possible and we're going to continue seeing that as well too. Uh, looking here, the latest um, will show you that we are looking at the visible satellite showing a big, big flare up of thunderstorms kind of fanning themselves out. That's a sign of strong organization and looking at the radar. You can see here the rain is wrapping around the center now uh, where the center is located. Outer rain bands will start moving on in today and here you look at this. This is the eye trying to form here. Notice how intense that lightning is. I'll zoom in a little bit tighter here. Uh, it looks like that would be our center. This is the radar from Mobile, Alabama coming on in and when you see that much lightning. That's her eye wall trying to develop. And so we now have a hurricane category one hurricane. Uh, I literally just checked this like 30 seconds before came on here was a tropical storm and now it's a hurricane. And so we are looking at this continuing to get a little stronger. Hurricane hunters are flying into it now uh, and you can see they have found those winds obviously strong enough to become a hurricane. But look at this. They were all the way almost to our coast with tropical storm force winds. Uh, you can see here there was the previous center. There was the new one kind of reformed a little bit as well too. And that's where it's kind of jumped. So again, the winds have been uh, uh, getting stronger and stronger. The pressure continues to fall when the pressure falls. The storm gets stronger. Usually your wind speed starts to go up, and that's indeed what we're looking at here as we move forward here. So uh, with that in mind, uh, we now have had a Hurricane Sally. Winds are at 85. They're moving west northwest at 6. So uh, what we're going to continue to watch is the forecast track. So it is a hurricane, and these numbers are already defunct. So the Hurricane Center is going to have to send an update here because uh, it'll be more than 75. Uh, I would not be surprised now because expect to be 85 by 7 a.m. tomorrow. It's already there, folks. So this is going to be something really interesting to see because it's moving over very warm water. The storm is going to slow down quite a bit. We're talking it's going to crawl. It's not moving fast anyway. It's six. It's going to go slower than that. And so now when it gets toward the mouth of the river here toward parts of maybe the Chandelure Islands heading toward the Mississippi coast, it had it as a 90 mile per hour hurricane. We're almost there. So that's why I was looking at it earlier. The intensity saying hmm, this could be close to a category two at landfall. Peyton even talked about it yesterday. Be prepared for the Mississippi coast to be prepared for category two landfall, and I think that's very likely now uh, because it does going to have a long time, a solid at least 24 hours or more still sitting over water. Yes, it's close to land. There is going to be some wind shear, so not expecting a Laura type situation where they had no wind shear, really warm water and high pressure over top. It's not the same uh, configuration with this one. But uh, with it being a stronger hurricane potentially coming in, that could mean maybe a stronger storm surge. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out for us as well, too. So again, we'll be watching this. But again, now Hurricane Sally is what we're talking about. Let's go over to Mayor Cantrell right now, who has more on New Orleans uh, preparations for the storm.